Spent the morning with the family, had a good time. Kaylee's out for the day now, so today I'll be hanging out with the boys at home. So we'll see what kind of mischief happens around here while uh, Kaylee's gone. I've had a few people ask what settings I use on the Canon R6. So I thought I'd use this moment real quick to show you, just give you a quick rundown on my, uh, on my menu settings on the R6. So you guys can see what my settings are. If anybody ever asks, I can refer them back to this video. So we'll do that quickly. All right, so I'm gonna have to record it on my iPhone, but we'll go into the menu, go to the camera. White balance, I typically keep it at daylight, which is approximately 4,200 Kelvin, as it says. Um, and then I go into Canon log settings. I have C-Log3 on. I keep my view assist on, just to give me a better idea of uh, how the image looks after I color correct it and color grade it. Um, characteristics, all are zero. And then my color space, I use BT709. Let's see, what else do we got in here? Scroll over. Uh, the image stabilizer I keep off because I don't like the crop. Um, I'm currently not using the IBIS uh, in the camera because um, of that IBIS wobble. And to do that, I have to make sure my stabilizer is turned off on my lens. I think that's really about it. I don't know if there's too much more that you guys need to know. Those are at least the main settings. Oh, and obviously I shoot in 24 frames per second because that's gonna give you the most cinematic motion blur. And then I'll go shoot uh, 60 frames 4K for, uh, for slow-mo. You can do 120 frames, but it puts you down at 1080p. And I prefer to shoot everything in 4K. And I think that's about, oh, <laughs> one more thing, sound recording. I keep it on manual and I put my recording level about right there. Yeah. And that's about it. Hopefully that answers most of your questions with the, the R6 settings. They're not, there's really not much to it. Most of the magic sauce happens in, uh, in post with LUTs that I use and uh, a bit of sharpening and so on. Um, if you're curious about that, then you can go check out a video that may pop up here or here, and uh, that'll answer your questions about that. Excuse me, mister. It's too yummy. <laughs> what do you have in that cup? It's got banana in it. It's, it's got banana in it. Okay. I think you snuck some chocolate milk, mister. He snuck three cookies, two bags of chips. Oh, two cookies, two bags of chips, nice. and lots of chips. lots of chips, and now chocolate milk. I gotta keep my eye on you, dude. He wasn't kidding about putting a banana in it. All right, broski, hit me. All right, let's get this workout going. Keeping the rest time short, so making sure that uh, my heart rate is still high. Therefore, I'm burning some fat, so that's the goal. Walked to the park because the kids were going bananas. They needed to go burn some energy. <laughs> love the floors and finished concrete look. Uh, I love the wood slats on the, on the roof, the ceiling. I've been watching videos about the iPhone 13 and vlogs with the iPhone 13, and it looks really good. But at the same time, I can still tell that it's shot on the phone. They're definitely improving um, the video modes on the iPhone, especially with that. I don't know what kind of technology, what kind of technology it is, but basically being able to use portrait mode in video, so that's gonna, you know, emulate shallow depth of field and that blurry background. So, I mean, looking at that, it looks pretty, pretty awesome. But at the same time, you can still tell that it's shot on a phone. It's still on that little, that little cell phone, cell phone, that little smartphone sensor. Um, but they're they're doing good. However, I don't know if we'll see phones take over cameras anytime soon. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Oh, one. What's over there? 
here. How are you feeling, buddy? Are you tired? Uh -huh. Tired. Should we go home? Uh -huh. No? You want to still play? Play go. You're going to play some more. We could probably stay at the playground all night and they would have no problem with it. Sand up. That sand's not off. Can dust it. Okay, that's fine. One of the best things about vlogging daily is no matter what kind of day I'm having, if I'm busy, if I'm free, if I have good ideas, bad ideas, I'm staying dedicated to filming every day. Therefore, at the end of the day when I edit it, and post it, you just feel really good. Like you, you felt like you really accomplished something alongside all this other stuff that I'm doing. It's been really great. What is this, day six? Day six and uh, feels like a lot has already improved in my life. So I'm loving it. With that being said, I am excited to take my time on some projects and uh, create some dope stuff and not just quickly put a vlog together in one day because there's not a whole lot of effort. There's a lot of effort, but not as much effort as it would be if you're filming a documentary or a short film or something. So I am excited for that and have a few ideas after this 30 days is up. But until then, continue with the daily vlogs. I, just what it was needed.